Hey, what is up guys? My name is Guillaume, this is Thomas Guitars and Basses, and in today's episode of Hit The Tone, we talk about the song Where The Streets Have No Name by U2. My name is Guillaume, this is Thomas Guitars and Basses, and welcome to this new episode of Hit The Tone. And today, we'll be talking about the song Where The Streets Have No Name by U2, starting with our guitar setup. Obviously, we're talking about U2, so we're talking about The Edge, the most delay proficient guitar player in the history of the world. So we'll get to that very quickly, but he's also a very big Fender user, whether in terms of guitars or amps, using a lot of Fender Stratocasters mostly. So uh, today I'm going to be playing that PRS Silver Sky, which is also a triple single coil type of setup. I think he'll do the job really well. I'll be playing in the fourth position. That, don't take my word on it, it sounds like the fourth position. I could be mistaken for the second one, depends on how everything was recorded, most notably in terms of phase, but I think it's a safe place to start. So I'm going to be uh, fourth position, that means these two pickups on at the same time, everything all the way up, and uh, now we're going to have a look at our amp and pedal setup. And now you might think, what are you doing with a Marshall? Typically, the Edge is known for playing a bunch of Fender Tweed amps, uh, Fender, you know, combos. The thing is, for that song, it's really not apparent. I, I, it's not audible, is what I mean. It's a very nice, shiny, bright, clean sound. There's a lot of high end in there. And uh, The Edge has been seen on stage playing Marshalls as well. Like, it's not, you know, just by the book. I think any amp, Virtually, as long as you have a nice, clean channel, will do the trick just fine. Most importantly, uh, the difference is going to be made by the pedals that you're using, because today, it's going to be all about delay. And today, I'm going to be using the Starlight by UAD FX, because it has, among other things, a really great reproduction of a Memory Man delay, which is what the Edge several of them actually, which, which is what The Edge uh, used both in the studio and on stage throughout uh, his career. The trick is it doesn't really have to be uh, that pedal. The big thing is it's a dotted eighth delay. It's not a setting that you'll have on every single delay and it's not necessary either. You can also just count uh, with a regular delay, as long as you get the tempo right, I think it'll, it'll be fine, but it is definitely a more complicated exercise. So I think, uh, and we'll put the dotted eight uh, logo somewhere, somewhere on screen, but I think as long as you have that option somewhere on your delay pedal, you should be fine for most things you too. It basically just uh, sort of controls the subdivisions of your delay. So this is what you want, fairly, uh, high in the mix as well, quite a long feedback. Uh, this is a prime example of what it means to play with a delay pedal and not just like have it on, but like play along with the delay pedal. I'll be going straight into the amp first and then I'll turn on the pedal so that you guys can hear the difference. Now that one note at the end was obviously just so that you guys get an idea of the tempo. It's not, and the length mostly. The tempo, ideally you just have a tap tempo and if you want to cover that song by yourself, uh, you just tap that and you play along with the tempo that you just set. If you are playing that song in a band, ideally everyone is playing on the same click and then that delay and that tempo on the delay is going to be dictated by the same uh, speed. And that's pretty much it really. It's just a really nice bright clean sound and a whole lot of memory man type delay in dotted eighth and that's your sound for most things you do to be honest. <laughs> no obviously I'm kidding he did more than that but you know this is probably one of the quintessential uh, sort of the edge riffs. I really love the sound I'm happy with it and I'm gonna go on to the final part of the video which as usual is the most important and is how to play the riff. <laughs> Thank you. 
And the usual notes, uh, please go check out the description box. You'll find a list of everything that I'm using today, as well as a bunch of recommendations for other gear that the artist may have used or that you know, might cut it out for you maybe at a different price point, so go check that out. As far as the tuning goes for that song, we are in E standard, nothing too fancy on this side. The problem is for the demo and the tutorial part is that the delay tempo is completely essential to that song, so I cannot play it slower than it is to just keep it in context. So we'll have the zoom, we'll have the tabs, but this is being played at, at the right speed, right? Just, just for your information. But yeah, this is how to play the riff exactly. Now, obviously, it might be a little bit misleading. The riff in itself is really not that complicated. It's fairly simple. Full notes, picking rather slowly. You do have some string skipping. You know, you might want to work on that if, if you're an absolute beginner. That being said, I think it's a great, nice, easy, super iconic riff to start with. But once you introduce the delay to that riff, it becomes a whole lot more complicated to keep your idea of tempo because you're going to be like drawn to all of these repetitions uh, every kind of all around the riff and it's kind of hard to stay focused on the main notes so i think that's where most of your effort should go at least in the first place then to get used to playing that kind of thing with like super pronounced delays is to really keep it keep you know maybe nodding your head or tapping your foot on the main beat and where you should actually pick the string. But that being said, I think that's it, guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Where the Streets Have No Name by U2. As usual, I hope you enjoyed that video and maybe you've learned something. If so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on any other video that we post. And maybe on future episodes as well, because you should definitely let me know which song you want me to cover in the comment section and I'll get to it as soon as I can. But in the meantime, I wish you all a fantastic week. Uh, take care, keep making music, and I'll see you next week. Bye.